again for uh, attending this session. Um, as mentioned, your feedback will help, uh, help us improve Volvo Concierge. Uh, so please feel free to respond candidly and honestly. One thing we, that sold on my wife was the third row. You know, we, we sat in third rows of other cars like MDX or X5, and uh, we didn't feel it was sufficient. The technology part it was one of the first ones that supported, you know, car, Apple's CarPlay. Um, so technology was a big factor for me. I looked at a bunch of different um, SUVs. I needed uh, seven passenger capability for kids carpool. When I just drove the various three row um, SUVs that were around, I, I liked the Volvo the best. It was almost a toss up between that and the Audi, but the uh, whole VW Audi diesel brouhaha kicked up and even though I wasn't looking at a diesel, I was worried about potential resale value or what was going on with the company then, so decided to move away. And to be honest, I didn't like the service I was getting from the Volkswagen dealer and they were right next to the Audi dealer and so I felt they were aiming more downscale. This car got a lot of um, high-tech uh, things like, you know, those assistances uh, mm -hmm. for, for driving. Also, the car itself, like Volvo is well known for safety, so, so that's, I, I think that's the key reason. It just looked very luxurious and like the, the options and everything. And then with the technology um, where it was and like how it was like way ahead of anything I was looking at at the time. Was looking for number one, a vehicle that was safe for the family. I also got the T8 because it was a hybrid. That was the only one out there at the time. And a year later, I can say it was the right decision. First word that comes to mind because your advertising is very effective is uh -huh. safe. I think now innovative. Uh, I like the stuff in the XC90. I go interesting. Yeah. I use a lot of the food delivery apps, so like DoorDash, Uber, Uber Eats. Use Amazon Fresh and um, Prime Now, of course. Uh, travel using Uber and Lyft. Okay, yeah, well I do use Uber occasionally. Mm -hmm. Shopping services, Instacart. You can now order anything via the web and it shows up on your doorstep the next day. Convenient, last minute. Easy, I guess. Reliable, safe, cost-effective. I got the email invite, and they were offering the credit. I'm like, sweet. <laughs> Through my dealer, when I took delivery of my T8. I think I may have been looking for some uh, Volvo On Call application update or something like that, and it came up, and I and I saw this app in the App Store. It might have been the Volvo YouTube channel. I think they had a little 90 second promo. I know that it's a suite of services that is going to be uh, on demand. I think right now it just offers gasoline and maybe car wash. Um, I can kind of make guesses what I might think a concierge service is, but I have no idea what it is. I tried it actually. Oh, yeah. um, it gives you a feeling like an Uber Eats. Like you uh -huh. order something, you, the people drive by and, and, and fulfill that service for you. The app was pretty easy to install. Um, I had to remember my Volvo password again, which it's a good thing I have a password manager. The email or like the intro said, you know, you get fuel fill ups, car wash, drop off and pick up. But then in my area, I only had a gas fill up. It was convenient. I, uh, I took pictures from my friends. Received a text that were on the way, maybe 15 minutes before they showed up. And when they showed up, um, I was kind of curious to see how it went. So I just kind of looked through the window. I didn't, I didn't go out. And, uh, and yeah, it was great. They just backed up. I could see the uh, serviceman uh, use his phone, saw the car unlock, so I'm pull the hose, fill it, and reverse everything when things were done and drove away. And then I got the receipt almost immediately saying it was filled up. Yeah, so I I think since I've used it, I've filled up once at a service station and then I've used concierge three times in terms of the way the services offer, the way I can book it with the app and receive notification and view receipts, all of that um, and for me is, is working just fine. To me it was just simplicity rules the day and that's kind of why I liked On Call. Instead of lots of menus and clunky stuff, which I've seen in apps of old, it was like, look, here are the four buttons. If you want to dig in, it's, it's easier. Now, you know, this is pretty nice. Fuel up, 
Ready? Okay, cool. Nice of all would include a free take of gas, so I took them up on the offer. Within maybe, you know, four hours of downloading the app, I, I had the order, and within a few hours of that, I had a new tank of gas. So that worked great. The $3 fee um, I would pay just out of convenience. If it's slightly more than the gas that I can get, from like surrounding gas stations. I think that's reasonable. The tank isn't that big, so you get usually like 15 gallons at a time. So $8 is quite a premium, um, right? Unless I really needed it urgently. I think $5 is completely reasonable. And the point is, okay, if I'm gonna do this thing, I'm probably not gonna call you when I need two gallons. Mm -hmm. And that's a, that's a self, that's a self-defending proposition. Do you really wanna waste the person's time for, mm -hmm. for two gallons? Five dollars. I'm like, yeah, my time. I mean, my time is worth a lot right now. I don't really want to go to the gas station. That extra ten minutes is ten minutes. I think you kind of hit the nail on the head. I think five bucks is about the maximum I'd be willing to pay to have it uh, delivered personally. If the surcharge was reasonable, you know, I pay fifty bucks or so to fill up my tank. You know, if that was fifty-five, it'd probably be a no-brainer. You know, if it was sixty, you know, if I'm paying a twenty percent, you know, ten percent. Probably okay. 20%, I'd probably think about it. You know, my local gas station is on my drive to or from work, and you know, okay, so it takes five minutes to pull in. I've been going to the same place for 15 years. Pull in, fill up, drive out. Yeah, I have to, you know, balance the, the, uh, the five minutes against the cost. I can't think of anything unless there was something else that was packaged with it, a fill up on a, a car wash or something like that. Because it's so convenient with the Volvo Concierge app, that's why I use it. Because I use the Volvo on call app like every day. I would love to try the car wash um, just because the XC90 is such a huge car and it's a pain to wash. I want to have the car refueled, I want to have the car washed, I want to have it clean. In oh, by the way, Interior cleaning service, that's also very helpful because cleaning a 70 car, wow. <laughs> Pair has revamped the, uh, the UI and, and some aspects of the flow, so we'd love to you know, present to you with sure. uh, what it now looks like and uh, would love for you to just kind of go through it and uh, act as if you were going to purchase fuel okay. uh, using this new flow and please feel free to think out loud as you're, as you're doing oh, that. Yep. Here you only have one Volvo app. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, this one. I, <laughs> I'm not sure how much time you spend on this one, but no. Okay, would you skip it or? I, I, I'll skip. Okay, so this is good to know that a map of the area. It's very straightforward so far. Good to hear. Yeah, that's the login page for my Volvo ID. So oh, do you know it by heart? Do you? Do you yeah, have, yeah. You do. Right. Okay. I actually don't know my Volvo credentials. <laughs> very similar to Uber. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Is that yeah, good or bad? It's, it's not a bad thing. No? I mean, yeah. It, I'm assuming that their icon of the car is going to re reflect my color, so I have a white Correct. color. So yep. that's actually yep. nice. All right, so I have $162 credit, yep. so it's giving me a target window of two hours. Okay, that's nice. Mm -hmm. uh, giving me the uh, price per gallon and the service fee. Okay, got it. It's nice, plain, uh, clean English descriptions of, of uh, what has been offered. And then fuel up premium, which is what I use. Yep. Uh, 316 a gallon is pretty appropriate for mm -hmm. what the pricing is uh, around where I live, yep. plus the $5 service fee, uh, which in and of itself wouldn't be a big deal to no. have something like that um, yep. uh, delivered. So um, I think it's uh, overall very, very good. Yep. Somehow, I'm assuming it's linked into my car to you know, give an estimate of how much fuel. Mm -hmm. It got my attention there. I was like, that's nice. Mm -hmm. And so I, again, I didn't realize the connection between the car and mm -hmm. this, and that's actually a nice little feature. Yeah, no, I appreciate that it does send me notifications. Uh, I mean, a lot of other apps do, and I find that very useful, uh, so that's helpful. I'm not in control of my own schedule, um, but I can certainly control my, you know, mm -hmm. my externalities and not have to worry about an extra 10 minutes at a gas station on the way to pick up the kid. And, make another meeting in some other city and that's the problem i'm often zipping up and down the peninsula and i don't want to be caught so mm -hmm. there's real utility in that kind of thing this was a volvo approved car wash service mm -hmm. where i knew that they were going to take care of it the way it would when the dealer washes the car mm -hmm. then it would be very attractive i had thought as i mentioned uh, earlier that uh, when i first loaded the app i was outside the service area mm -hmm. and um i i looked to see if there was an option for me to be able to book a service that would be in the service area. In other words, I could designate an address that I would be in the future. Um, 
uh, for later that day. And I didn't see that or I couldn't find that option. Easy to, easy to launch, mm -hmm. and very straightforward. And my experience here, again, matched what I was told I would see. To me, that's, that's important, is setting those expectations as you're brought into the thing. What would give me even more peace of mind is if the app notified me that it was just unlocked. Or I shouldn't have to think about opening up you know, another app mm -hmm. you can do this, unless okay. you've got notifications working really well where it's mm -hmm. going to prompt you mm -hmm. for this. Hey, you've only got, you know, you're down to how many, you know, quarter tank mm -hmm. do you want to arrange for? For gas. It is so good on gas that um, I really don't find it any kind of a nuisance or an infringement on my time mm -hmm. to have to. I, we've got local stations all around my office. The appeal that I'm going to a gas station besides filling up gas. Okay, zero appeal. <laughs> no appeal. So, what do you see here? Car wash, definitely. Car yeah. wash is, you would like to see that? I, I, I would definitely want to see car yeah. wash. Yeah. Oh, you have a fake credit card too. Got it. <laughs> Four, three, five, eight. What I expect here, though, is Apple Pay as an mm. option. Yeah. Okay. I've already got my credit card mm. in my phone. Yeah. I don't want to have to go pull this out again. No. Oh, I like that. The cancel before 10 a.m. I don't think I saw that before. I would want to have more flexibility. Being able to cancel at a point where it actually doesn't harm the service provider, doesn't waste their time. Yeah. Um, but it also gives me the ability to, to cancel. When I need to without worrying about. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's nice that it's it's the design's clean um, mm -hmm. and it's it's easy, it's intuitive. Oh yeah, and um, that's about where I need to reinstall the app. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I guess I guess the demo's over. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's good. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's pretty similar to a lot of uh, fulfillment services. Where I really want to see this is on that beautiful screen because mm -hmm. that's where I'm thinking of it. So yeah. on that navigation map, it should just come up. I need service, I need mm -hmm. this, and just have it do mm -hmm. have it do that. Yeah. It was very fun. I didn't know what to expect, so <laughs> I'm glad I could give feedback because this is something I'm really looking forward to using. The you know, first thought is, you know, I hope that it's not just limited to Volvo cars because mm -hmm. my wife, I would love to sign my wife up for something like that because uh, and she drives a Jaguar, so, mm -hmm. you know. I've seen the history of Volvo, and I'm glad it's come back, and I like the investments that's been made in the company. Um, I think the engineering on it is sound. It's one of the best out there. Um, and so this is my way of supporting it. You know, I want to see it continue to do good, so for my own selfish reasons. <laughs> so I, the next car will be a Volvo as well, too. So out of hundreds of uh, early customers who were actually the first one to go through the whole process and, and uh, purchase fuel, um, which was, uh, <laughs> <That's weird. laughs> you know, elicited a sigh of relief throughout, you know, the, the LA headquarters. So I really love the, the Volvo on call app because it tells me everything I need to know about my car, like where it's at. Did I remember to lock the doors with the concierge app? Now I don't have to go to the, the gas station anymore and I can just do it from work and hopefully from home one day. Um, and then since the car is so big, the car wash uh, feature, I don't have to spend three hours washing my car by myself anymore, which is great. I'm really surprised and really honored to be the first one to use the Volvo Concierge app. I think it's really great and I can't wait to see what you guys do in the future.